Matthew was supposed to do it, but he's not here. He was going to do it. Yes, so. Doc, Doc and Schlock back. He was going to do it. There it is. There you go. So uh, I'll see if I can uh, do something here. What is it? So this is Enhancer Software Core 1.0. Yay! Whee! It's a collection of components and software for free. So the idea is that, uh, okay, I have to wrap, uh, rewind a little bit. Okay, so why is this stuff even here? Well, given the uh, glacial pace of releases of Hyperion, <laughs> it, um, Aeon wanted to move forward but couldn't. Couldn't get bug fixes out, nothing, no updates. Crash. So they decided to make replacement components for the parts they need because they weren't doing anything. And as Matthew put it, I have a business to run, I can't wait for them all day. So <laughs> an answer, software core was born, right? So, so he started replacing pieces that uh, he needed. And um, uh, bit by bit it grew and grew and grew and now there's so many pieces that he needs to get a core base out there kind of like MUI where you have the MUI package right and then third-party applications use MUI and then you run so now this is the same kind of thing except it's Aeon Enhancer Core that you put on alongside MUI alongside whatever other packages I think it's more like MUI in my mind, this yeah. thing. Well, no. MUI, MUI used to have a license, and uh, given developers had to buy that license to it's, use MUI. MUI still has so, a license. Yeah, but it's free. But, I mean, so it? is this. It's got a license, yes. but it's free. <laughs> it's exactly the same. Okay. So you see. <laughs> no, no, this is, this is various bits yeah. and pieces. Yeah. 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 Um, so the idea is that Matthew's future products like sketch, sketch block. Oh, the bus, one of them. Yeah. Um, it's Andy, isn't it? Yeah, Andy's. Was that Andy's? Yeah. Yep. Aeon or Andy's? No. Andy. Anyway, uh, I think Mark wanted to use some of the pieces of it too, but couldn't be guaranteed yeah. that they'd be there, right? Mm -hmm. So the idea is users would just download this, install it, and then okay. you're guaranteed that it's there, right? And it's free. Everybody can put it on there, right? That's the idea, so everybody can use it. One of the problems was also that the enhancer thing started to replace uh, components of OS4 yes. with the same name. Yes. Yeah. So you'd never know as a developer. Ah, yes. Uh, yeah, you have the same you names. One or yeah. the other yeah. version. Yeah. That's, okay. that's what they drives should, all of the wall. Because they should be some people had the enhancer mm -hmm. installed. You can't tell by the version number or something like that, or no? Yeah, but it's, <laughs> uh, it's, it's it doesn't mess. work. It it's doesn't work. Mess. When you use the same name, everything just falls mm -hmm. apart. Yeah, man. MUI had the decency of at least creating a MUI assignment, yeah. and everything was over there. Right. Yeah. But in this case, they just went in and yeah. splattered so the OS. With this is this is the same oh, as uh, that, but, uh, <laughs> this is similar to Reaction. Reaction did that too. Mm. Reaction was pieces. part of the OS. No, no. This it was awesome. never part of the OS. <laughs> That's awesome. a new thing. It used to replace a bunch of components. Same thing. But um, we're sort of guaranteed to be able to use our old stuff, old software. Well, you can choose whatever you want. It doesn't matter to I mean, whatever, us. Whatever, whatever you want. Whatever software is going to follow these components <laughs> will still work, right? Yeah. Well, one, one aspect, uh, sound data type. Uh, Hyperion wouldn't release the fixes. Yeah. I think it was for years. So they, Aeon developed its own sound data type, which completely replaces the old one and fixes all the bugs. Okay, right. But it's and we made a lot of this. So now okay. he's tired of waiting. Right. Right. Right, 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 right. It all goes back to waiting. Right. Patience. So you can blame who you like, but it's because of the glacial speed of updates. This yeah. exists. Right. So, so this, is this Otherwise, it <laughs> Does this depend on the enhancer pack or is it completely separate? Separate means installed this separately. This is the enhancer software core. Okay. It's not enhancer. Cool. Right? Uh, that's a different thing. Enhancer pack. 
Why is this? Just I think the answer is no, it doesn't. Okay. Go to the next one. Why? Yeah, there you go. This is third break. We wanted regular updates, enable porting 268K. That was another thing. So, th this was another thing. Uh, Matthew, his, his biggest market is 68K and wanted to do, start doing ports of things to 68K using the same kind of elements, same underlying elements, right? Uh, I know for a fact I tried to get a deal at that period and they said no. Okay, well, I'll make my own then. <laughs> what are you going to do, right? The, the owner said no. You can't port it to 68K. I, I won't accept your money to port it to 68K. Nothing. So. Okay, I'll make my own then. That's what you can see what, what, why it exists, right? Uh, why don't you treat A accept? Oh, oh well. It's, it's up there. Expect us. Yeah. <laughs> Contents. <laughs> and a gadget. <laughs> Here's all the gadgets and classes and things like that that are included, right? So a whole bunch of interesting things. Is it included a library? There's a library in there somewhere. Code sets. Code sets libraries in there, yeah. Okay. It's, uh, it's been a third party thing mm -hmm. for years. So. Yeah. Is this also a replacement of a third party? Yep. I don't know. I don't use code sets library. I don't, I don't know very much about it. If you use code bit, like code pad or code bit, you just. Oh, okay. It uses it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, a few things. I don't know if you see your favorite thing in there. <laughs> in the list, <coughs> but so if you're a third party developer, <coughs> you can be sure those things will be there. Is it info gadget there or whatever you call it? Info yeah, data. There, it there it is. There it is. Mark. <laughs> hey, Mark. <laughs> this thing's in there. I love this class. This, is, dude, this gadget is fantastic. But see, I didn't want to use it because I couldn't be guaranteed anyone else would have it because it was part of Enhancer. People don't want to pay for Enhancer. So what am I going to do? I can't use it. I'm not going to make my own again because it's a waste of time. <laughs> uh, that, that progress bar gadget, is that like Bill Gage? Yep. Yeah. So it does not take very well. Another, another fuel gauge. <laughs> What was this great business need to have to have a clock gadget? I explain. <laughs> there was a business need. Yeah. Need. Yeah. You have to, you have to go to 68K and fix clock. that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, no. Well, he wants to release enhancer stuff for yeah. 68,000 and. Yeah, so all of these are okay. destined for 68K as well. Yeah. Which is. Not done yet. Yeah. yeah. That's the idea, though. Mm -hmm. Right, so if you program for either, it will just go. So you need to keep the edge guy the chain, the same, right? So I, I found it interesting. Pie chart made it into the list. Mm -hmm. Remember this thing? Mm -hmm. No? Oh, it's very ancient. <coughs> very ancient. It showed up on um, 4.0 4 4 somehow. It didn't crash. Like we were going to. We were going to. We were going to put it in 4.1. At one point, and then something went wrong with the author licensing. I don't know what happened. Anyway, it's here now. It's back. And I was playing with it. Well, I'll show you in a bit. But uh, it's actually incredibly feature rich. <laughs> Whoa. It's, it's huge. Um, what else? And it also includes a few other bits and pieces. So you get the Amy Sphere server, preferences, updater, info window. I think a lot of people hate this one. <laughs> Especially uh, request chooser? I, I don't know what that does exactly. For scripts. Um, for scripting? Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a command to the same okay. type as request file, request choice. Oh, right. Do you remember it just uses ASL library. Yeah. Do you remember easy request? 
No, every so, district. Okay, so it's like on Amiad, yeah, kind of the same thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Take your word for it. What is LDCK? Oh, and then system reboot and then LDCK. Ah, I can never it's remember what it's It's sort of a library. Yeah, library. What's it stand for? It's library it's devices. It's part of the SDK. Why, why did you include that? Is it in the SDK? No, of course not, because it never got fitted in. No, there's a, it's a replacement yeah. for a, a, an alternative to something that's already in the SDK to generate uh, these I'm trying to remember what stands for. XML files. Or Libraries and devices. Oh, they, they Libraries and devices. Construction. Devices. Something yes. 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 Construction. Construction kits. <laughs> must be construction, just a C. Construction yeah, kit. Yeah, kit. Yeah. K is the last one. Yeah. Funny name. So it's the XML. So the XML generating program. No. Yeah. So it reads in JSON, J S O N, and spits out source code for the that's a IDL compiler. Right. Mm -hmm. So IDL tool yeah. replaces IDL tool with JSON. So you don't use XML files, it's JSON files. Yeah. Well, yeah, well XML is now dead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> must not dead. XML's gone. Please, yeah. Tony, please try to keep up. Okay, please try to keep up. XML's no, so oh, it's, it's history. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, the, kids, the kids are using JSON now. <laughs> I know, I just looked it up, dude. <laughs> it's just another way of marking up. Mm -hmm. oh, what is it? JavaScript? Object object I don't even know what it stands for. It's basically a text file. JavaScript yeah. on nerds or something? So we go back to <laughs> JavaScript, right? Yes. Well, but it looks server. like JavaScript, but it isn't. It's just oh, uh, time it's a smart, smart It's file. a system um, that was invented in connection with JavaScript. Yes. But yeah. it doesn't necessarily rely on the hard no. drive. No. You can sterilize the JavaScript um, object. Did JavaScript. Matthew want this Function released to... Thing. Did Matthew want this released out what? until the announcement? Hmm? Sorry? Did Matthew want this released out or until into the announcement? Was he going to announce it on Saturday? Well, he, he this, is the announcement. this is the announcement. Just talk. This is the announcement. This is the announcement. Okay. You're living the dream. All right. Okay. <laughs> Are we going to put it on Facebook? Yes. Like Whatever. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. 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 I haven't posted anything yet. Yeah. Uh, uh, I've used oh. uh, SOAP before. S O A P. Apparently, uh -huh. J, J S O N replaces S O A P. So. It's just a way of organizing text to represent yeah. data. That's all it is. Um, I don't know what the big deal is, but people no, freak out about it. XML was fine. <laughs> anyway. I think some of the young kids found XML to be a little too uh, organized, too, uh, uh, well. It didn't have semicolons. It sense. The, the, you gotta have two, second two colon strings. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Not enough <laughs> sense. <simple. laughs> two structure. That's how they sort of butter something there. No, I, the, 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 the big complaint about XML is it's verbose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Too yeah. big, blah, blah, blah. And it's I, certainly verbose. But given how small <laughs> our descriptions are, you mm -hmm. can see the big deal is. That's, it's a that's an alternative way of generating our interfaces. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. It's neat to have. A, I, I I was thinking actually switching my um, my video game from XML based soap to JSON, <laughs> just for fun. Yeah. Yeah. Just catch you up. Just want to be hip. Yeah. Because the kids are all using it. <laughs> Peer pressure. It's going back to being hip now. Hep. It was hip for a while, then it was hip. <laughs> so are you converting all the uh, books to uh, this one? I'm not or doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> no. You've got nothing better to do. Yeah. So this, this package requires registration if you want automatic updates. Right? So you can, you can download it from wherever it's going to be. But uh, if you want it to update automatically and keep everything in sync, and you're an Aeon fan, um, you have a license code that you can use to register at amysphere.com and enable the updates, right? Because Amysphere only works with serial numbers and accounts. You don't just get an update because you exist. Not like Amy update, uh, that had no accounts, right? Mm -hmm. 
just up. Oh, you can, you can, doesn't you it? can, you can show up. Like a, no, but it doesn't have accounts normally. You don't need an account. I don't need, and no one needs an account. There's no one a, needs a password. It just works. No, you can. Okay. It depends it if you go right to the server. Like, like for example, well code bench yeah. updates. Yeah. Not everybody can get them. I can. I know, but you normally it doesn't in. need anything. You just update. Well, the third party ones yeah. up, just update. Yeah. Because I, I was using some Simon server and didn't need anything. But yeah, to be updates. registered to Hyperion, you get its updates. You have to be registered to. Yeah, other everything. people put passwords on yeah. it. Yeah, you have to be up. It all depends on how you configure the server to code yeah. with any update. Yeah. And you use up, multiple servers. So updater right. is secure and only works this way. So MSPR is only for email folks? Or yeah. Or um, third party things? Matt, no. Matt, because he believes he's writing his own OS. Up, updater works with anything that you put on the Amy Spear server. Okay. So if, if, you're, if you have a product. Because I have a product called Ranger. Ranger, right. Which is on. And it, Amy update, or okay. the updater so looks after it for me. So your own product. Yeah. It's not Amy and products. Or no, it's not any Amy product at all. It's my product. Sure. I put it on his server. Okay. Yeah. 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 And you haven't updated it. No. <laughs> <laughs> not in a while. Anyway, that's that's the idea. Uh, so it's very much like the old Windows and Mac. Yeah, you know, it will not update anything unless you have a valid serial number, valid computer. So where is it? Where is what? The serial number, please. Oh well, <laughs> Brian's not here yet. Oh okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> no. so then, uh, so. The, Part of the gift that uh, Matthew wanted to gift everybody was a free box copy of it, Yay. because um, uh, yeah. the box is, was delivered. Oh, it's here now. I, I think it was delivered. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't see it. Uh, I don't know where Brian is, but he has the boxes. Uh, so the idea was there's a free version you can just download from wherever he's going to stick it, and then there's a box version. Where you can uh, you get a nice box of the disc or something in it? I haven't seen it yet, and a registration code, oh. right? And then you can uh, you can uh, <coughs> keep the box for souvenir, or whatever, yeah. right? <laughs> it has no purpose. But for those Amiga guys that have to have boxes, you can buy a box, okay? <coughs> Normally, you have to buy it. You have to pay money. For the free software, you're paying for the box, right? <laughs> okay, okay. It's like uh, when you get uh, a compiler nowadays, right, or whatever. The download, you can download the compiler for free, or you can give us twenty bucks and we'll send you a CD no with the same compiler on it. Okay. Your choice. <laughs> so, just a minute. Uh, does this mean that the end users, if they install the Enhancer Core, yeah, they will only get updates for it if they they also ask for a license. Yeah. Key. 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 And they have to pay for that? No. No, oh, okay. No. Only if you okay. buy a box, sure. Yeah, okay. So they can share even up the box. It's free. Yeah, yeah. Okay. that's, that's <laughs> free. <laughs> Send a similar request to, to get a key. If you download yeah, yeah, so you can keep your updater up to date. Yeah. I have a uh, comment yeah. to make about it. I'm reading. Yeah. These are all components of the enhancer pack, so I assume if you have the enhancer pack, these guys aren't going to need to download it, right? Because yeah, they, it's already part of the system. That's right. This, it, this is only for people. This that, is the core for people who don't, don't have it. Right. If yeah. you have enhanced, you already have it. Right. I assume everybody yeah. in here has it. So I mean, so this is like the um, thing is, if it should make sense the way it's meant to be, then as a developer, I would set up a separate uh, boot partition without the enhancer pack, with only the enhancer core. And develop on that. But you'd so still make sure it works for people who are here. And so you use your same uh, account, enhancer account. It's, yeah. it's the same stuff, so you don't have to do that. Yeah. You want to? Uh, no, you want to be sure that your application is going to work without the brain. Yeah. You, you, you need a. Yeah, but system. see, the stuff that builds on this is all paid software. If not all users have it. Yeah. What Neil's is saying is that you. You still need a script system. If you already own the enhancer yeah. pack, yeah. then you may come to rely on pieces of the enhancer pack 
that isn't available to the common user with the enhancer core. I don't see how it's possible. Because those are all applications. Unless you call it from a script, maybe. I don't know why you would. Like you call some maybe component from a script, <coughs> then of course it won't work. If, because if by accident you set it. one of your icons to have a default tool of uh, multi-viewer. Yeah, multi-viewer. Yeah, yeah, then that would break. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you're really nervous about it. Yeah. 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 At least a year ago. It was uh, more. It was, it was announced uh, by Trevor on uh, oh. Mega 32. Mega 32? That's two years ago. What? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh. Trevor likes announcing. Oh yeah, that's his thing. Is it downloadable from OS or? I don't know. Probably from. Could be anywhere. A so. uh, site or something. Okay. Like that. Let's say you're a developer. Yeah. Where would you point to say, okay, for the user to download this package first, install this, and then? I don't actually know. So. <laughs> well, or, 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 or didn't the developer, get that information yet. Would the developer include it? Hmm? Would the developer include it? Or, or can, can a developer um, distribute this? A read, read, I don't know. Read it's it's licensed um, software, so you got to read the agreement. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't know the legal details. <laughs> yeah, it's the same uh, same thing we had with um, uh, Class Act before it was called Reaction. It's exactly the same thing. Could I include it on my disk? No. With Class Act, you could. The user was supposed to go download it. Yeah. Why? I don't know. The authors didn't. Let you. So it's like <laughs> it, you never know, and people come up with all sorts of schemes. So. Me personally, I just think, well, why don't you just put it everywhere? But except the only things that then you got to wait tight in every place. Well, updaters should do it for you. They're following the protocol. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You can download an old version, and then updater can update it. Yeah. Again. Yeah, as long as you have updater running, everything should be okay, but... <laughs> anyway, that's the idea. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I was going to show you some examples of what these actually do now. Right. Right? So that, that's the whole point. <laughs> uh, do I have another one? Oh, I do. Okay, question. So we've been doing that all along. I need to get out of full screen mode here. Um, this one? Aha! So I'm going to try to drive this from the side. Excuse me. Uh, I need a shell. Always have to have shells, right? Yes. <laughs> See, one of those dopest guys. <laughs> Confused one. So what was I going to show? Ah, there we go. Okay. So there's a, uh, it installs into your SDK if you're a developer, along with everything else. So it's just adding on to what you already have. Uh, this, this one's, uh, this was Paul's favorite. Clock and gadget. <laughs> So it just draws a clock face. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yee! <laughs> there, there it is again. And it's glory. It was so much better than they did that than a web browser. I mean, what the hell did they <laughs> a browser for? Yeah. Way to go, a clock. There's a clock. There you go. Pretty, pretty. <laughs> it's a gorgeous clock. I didn't quite understand the purpose of that one. <laughs> Then, oh, th this is an interesting, I, I like, uh, 
I like how they always try to find different names for the same thing. Mm. Instead of calendar gadget, it's called date sheet. Gadget. <laughs> date sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's copyrighted the word calendar? No, but you, you didn't want to interfere, right? Mm. Not a, it's not a replacement. It's an alternative. Yep. See? So when you're sick of calendar gadget, stupid thing, then you want to go clock sheet gadget. <laughs> it's glorious. <laughs> I don't know what they have to say to me, but then. <laughs> it's got hooks. Yeah, see, it's got fancy graphics and things on it. Lots of eye candy. You need eye candy. It's like, oh, you got to have some blank. What, where was it? Uh, React, I think. Yeah, there you go. It's actually pretty cool. So it's got tons and tons of interesting, weird stuff that you can do with that stuff. Uh, show title, what's this one? Show week? Let's see what came from. Month? Yeah, yeah. So I just click these buttons and see what happens, right? That's what I was doing. But you, there's a little example with most of the gadgets. Should be all of them, but I, I couldn't find them all. You know, it's usual, just a calendar gadget, a date sheet. I don't think anyone says that. <laughs> <laughs> One person? You say date sheet? No, I was, All the raising, time. I was raising my hands up like this. I, All the time. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't stop yourself. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you say date sheet. sheet. So, um, option buttons, that's another. <laughs> okay, so this, this is actually rather interesting. So option button. Yeah, there's quite a few gadgets here that, um, let's say, replicate some of the functionality of a lot of the reaction yes. gadgets and classes that are included with the operating system. And the movie stuff, too. Right. Yeah. So is there, um, in, in the documentation, or is there a file somewhere that would tell us some of the added benefits of using the Aeon gadgets as opposed to the ones that are included with the OS, some of the mm -hmm. neat additions? I did not see any summary. See that? That's annoying. Yeah. Well, because that's the thing. I mean, I'm sure that these things have got not just bug fixes, but new features. Yeah. And tons we kind of nice to know what they are, because... Right. Oh. Option button. Yeah. Speaking of option button, wasn't there something you promised to say? Oh, oh option button. Yeah, don't use that. That's what it says. <laughs> <laughs> it's not finished yet. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Don't, don't use option button. It's not a good one yet. Um, this is interesting. Instead of list browser, list viewer. Mm -hmm. Totally different. <laughs> oh, it's black. See, and on my machine, it's got a bug. It does this funky stuff. I don't understand it. You're not selling this here, buddy. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's gone now. Yeah, it disappears. It comes <laughs> and goes. <laughs> on my machine, it does that. I don't know why, why but. Anyway, it's just the same as list browser, except we list viewer. Which is interesting to me because in class act, there used to be a class called list view. <coughs> so now we have list browser replaced list view. List viewer replaces list browser, potentially. What's the movie one called? I don't know. List seeker. <laughs> <laughs> See what's going on here. And this viewer. Info window. Now that, that's a more unique one. More unique? Yes. Because in reaction, you're supposed to use a button gadget to display text, which makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> but that's been our classic go to for displaying any kind of text a read only button. Yeah. yeah. In movie, it's endless, endless tree, endless view. Endless, endless, yeah, endless. Yes. And oh. Ah, right, right, right. I remember that now. This is kind of comical. So this, this, this is info window, right? Yeah. It appears that you need to have the info window class installed before you can read the README first files yeah. and distribution. Ah, lovely. So. Lovely. Yeah. Maybe a little feedback. No. I'm sure they'll fix it. I'm really <laughs> <laughs> you can't even read the file because you don't have it. 
That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's what it's directed to. Okay. Huh. It's going to install and then just just does all sorts of cool stuff. You know, we, we, we know about <laughs> info window. There's <laughs> another one. There's, that's the nicer to view one. Oh, that's little graphics. That's what got the little blue eye on. Eye? Yeah. Right inside. Oh. button gadget and I had to wrap button gadget with something else to say uh, this mode and this mode. This is far easier way to do it. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. We can change yeah. one yeah. line, six lines at once. Yeah, it's handy. So I, I like this. This thing should be part of the OS, I think. <laughs> no, it's never too late. <laughs> It's very uh, handy. Doesn't crash, just handy too. <laughs> it just shows how small it can be. Yeah, we're gonna drag it over. Oh, that guy, there he is. Yeah, the first <coughs> one. I keep wanting to shut that window with the escape button. I don't know. It's not what's up. It's, it's not really any uh, style guide, I guess. But no, uh, it I, would be useful. Oh, no, he doesn't do escape on it. Or I do my programs, but I didn't in those. Hmm. Examples, yeah. yeah, yeah. Info data, info window is the about right? yeah. Then there's slider bar instead of slide bar. Mm -hmm. uh, Great. Scroll bar. No, no, scroller. Scroller, scroller. There's scroller and slider, I thought. Isn't it? Yeah, the slider bar is, is the gorge thing. This is slider. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these things. So, you know, the usual stuff. Mm. Isn't that called a gorge in 
and it goes gauge. Gauge, yeah, well, however you uh, gauge, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. pronounce it. I'm not sure. Tony knows. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to have a grammar work with him. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I, I did. A warning. Oh, you fool. Actually, it was just me. <laughs> thank, thank you for the notes. <laughs> Someone's got to keep things straight. <laughs> we know. There's, there's very few... Uh, we don't have enough language in Yeah. <coughs> Usually I'm the one in, in all the context. Yeah, yeah, I have no. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You pick me up. <laughs> Select gadget. Oh, so you're saying it's payback. <laughs> this looks very much like a choosing to me. Yeah, yeah. corrected in English by a day. <laughs> <laughs> or a cycle phone, if you like. <laughs> I thought it was called chooser. I worked on choosers. Yeah, but there remember. used to be a cycle button also. Oh, there was a cycle one? Yeah. I mean, oh, okay. That's the original. Yeah. That, uh, it only had the the, the icon uh, of the top one there, the, the round arrow on there. Not the drop down. So, yeah. So the chooser gadget is in the report. So this is the one gadget? It's the very top. There's not a picture of a whole lot of different gadgets. Oh, this is different modes of the same one. It's an example of using all the different modes. Oh. So the person is What's this one called? Chooser. Uh, chooser. Select. Chooser. Select. Select gadget. Oh, select gadget. Select. Yes. So this is a different instances of the select gadget. Yeah, different modes it can be in. Sure. So you have a list of things. You want them to select one. These are all the ways they can. So maybe the that top one is, is to compare the uh, the original OS one. The top one that's the most Oh, I guess that's the only yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So it just came up the list here. Yeah. 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 You can do this, or you can say yeah. 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 And then select. Does all these weird yeah. uh, modes. Yeah, you can just pop up. But it uses an arrow instead of a cycle. It's the same thing. Yep. Exactly the same kind of thing. Uh, it's just a oh, I like the animated one. Okay. Whoa. Ah. We need more animation in our gadgets, right, Paul? Uh, for Mac users. <laughs> well, well, it's Amigo OS as envisioned by a Mac user. See? There you go. Good. Good. Nothing wrong with that. Should make a whoosh sound, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, put the speakers on. You should put the CPU gauge there. Oh, and compare the menu, the file size. You can change it. You can, oh, you can get rid of the. Uh, you can get yeah. rid of that. Yeah. You know, so all it's all different. These attributes. It's selecting it. I don't know. I'm not a GUI guy, so. This is really dope. It's pretty care as much as both. Who wrote this? This was awesome. This one's really good. Select is a. It's got a lot of weird. There's a ton of stuff. Most right. In part, pie chart. Oh my goodness, did that ever go? Oh. I spent a lot of time on pie chart, way too much time. So that's just the normal display. Isn't that more of a personal problem? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is, it is a problem. It's, uh, it's bad. <laughs> pie chart looks pretty cool. That's just the regular. Then you get into the, you know, colors and what have you. It does so many things. And this See? is actually useful. It's yeah. geocode thing. Pause it has on or off and on and all sorts of modes. I like pie charts. Most of the Google thing changes to back yeah, the back. Where's the big one? Where's the big one? Hey, this this so is so really cool. nice. Looks like a solution to for a problem. That could be so good. Yeah, it's cute. Oh. There was one that had a ton of buttons on it. Why do you start that for example? I chart. Did I do that one? Here's another way to get it. Oh, that's done. That's great. No, it's not that one. I had a different one to get that you put on the screen. Oh, it seems to be gone. I don't wonder what I did to it. Oh, this is for missing these chat boxes, I guess. It had so many options on it, it was insane. Oh. Anyway, hard chart. Uh, 
tried to chat test down in the tried to chat test library. Uh, um, Seem to be a older directory. Yeah, but there's uh, an executable down there that's right. also called Pipes for chat uh, test. Really? Okay. Yeah. I missed that one. That was and, the one. Uh, it's really big and really colorful. And that's the one I was trying to get yeah, to work. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not sure what it's all about. <laughs> yeah, okay. The ticks. And with the really big. Lots of ticks. Need more ticks. Ticks everywhere. <laughs> she says ticks are more checks. Just for all the process of the Checks. <laughs> it's, uh, it's got a lot of cool stuff that way. Time gadget. Okay. Ooh, that one could be useful. Well, um, mm -hmm. well, maybe not. Don't get too excited. <laughs> time. What is time? <laughs> it's for entering times. about tick boxes. There you go. <laughs> I remember actually when we when class act was first starting out, you couldn't click on the label. You can't hear. No, but when class act was start, first starting out, you couldn't. You couldn't, right? So you had to hit that little box. And if you missed the box, tough luck. And Moody, you could click on the label. Whoa, way better. Whoa. Right? So they changed class act and had to click on the label. Yeah. There's a war going on in the forums. Get out. <laughs> Look at this new feature. So, of course, this one does it too. You can click on the label. But it, it was a strange what gets people excited sometimes. <laughs> Tick box. Dumbness. I think that's the one I couldn't get to work. Couldn't get to do anything. If you can get to do something, let me know. 
Yes. It's supposed to list pictures in a thumbnail. I can't get it to do it. It's the thumbnails. Yeah, yeah thumbnails. it's the, the one he uses in, in the driver for um, PTP. Uh, PTP. Yeah. Yeah, but I couldn't get it to do anything. So, I don't know. Well, maybe it's my machine. I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if it did that um, thing called Easton years ago, where you had little yeah. thumb wheels in the in a workbench uh, listing. Really? Yeah. He called it Easton. But yeah. Because he was German. Oh, that yes. was an Easter it was just it was Austin. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Steve, does the uh, thumb list examples, do they work for you? No. Okay. If you can get it to work, let me know. Nope. Okay. I'm not the only one. Oh, I have no audio, but that's okay. So it shows Media Deck is very similar to what's the tape deck? Tape deck. Tape deck showing its age. I don't get many machines on with those, but that's more buttons. And I never had good luck with tape deck. I found it quite useless. Uh, Media Deck, it's okay. It's very Apple-ish to me, minimalistic. Like with the little pictures. Doesn't quite fit. I, I didn't find it fits the Mega GUI. Seems off. So your choice is yeah. what, you, what you can do at the moment. Yeah, are these, are, in the sub these are all automatically just, thrown up there for you. Yeah. And you don't have to do anything to make them work. Right? They, they just work. Yeah, so that's the advantage of so the fact that it's using the item of the world means you get a play button. Yeah, you get a play, you get a stop, you get a, a forward jump, a volume, a repeat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was Stefan Ruprecht. Ah, Stefan. Oh. Thank you, David. Hmm. There you go. <laughs> He's got all these old emails. I'm sure. <laughs> So those are the examples I could find. I'm sure, well, you all have, uh, have it there now, so you can explore. Um, in LDCK, I got that to work too. There's my good old JSON file. <laughs> so I know you're just dying on what a JSON file is. So. <laughs> I can see that in XML in the second half of the screen. Second half of the window. There you go. So instead of XML, it looks like that. That's <coughs> square brackets instead of. These are curly, uh, curly tags. These are curly. It looks like. And it C doesn't rely on, on a predefined yeah. schema. Yeah. 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 I'm not quite sure why it's so popular. When you start. I don't know. It's big with JavaScript. Yeah, but I don't know why. Because it's got JS oh, and the guys use it. Oh, because it's got JS? Yeah. Oh. It's, uh, Seems like script of the week. <laughs> it's a standard go-to for the web developer. Yeah, web developer yeah. community just go, went gaga for it. Yeah. 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 Some guy... Started it somewhere yeah. and yeah. it just took off. I worry about the Angular JS model. Yeah, that's what you connected. Yeah, I read up about it and I was like, oh, okay. I had to, I had to adapt to it when I started. You were yeah. yeah. doing Angular, and it, it took a little while, but uh, quite quickly I grew used to it. It's well, yeah, it's a, uh, just another way. To just another way to describe yeah. your interface. That's where I went down with parent Editor and names and strings. You know, just like XML, same thing. What's the significance of the um, square brackets and curly brackets? 
I think that's kind of like a set, isn't it? Like yep, a, it's yeah. an array. Array? Yep. I thought it was set. I didn't clear. Well, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, Basically, maybe, it's an array. Maybe you could erase a set. In this case, array. there's, there's only one element, of course. Yes. Uh, but there could be more. Then you separate them with commas. I, I, I read that a while ago, and I can't remember what the terminology is. <laughs> This has obviously been written by a Linux person with this opening square bracket right on the end of the line here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, I didn't think it is. Yeah, yeah, that's not my preferred way. I like it, uh, you know, kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's my preferred way. At least you can read it. Yeah, yeah, you know the kids, they like to. <laughs> 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 but it, it's uh, it's pretty cool. It's different. It's very Amiga. Um, oh, I can't spell it. L D C K. I don't know what the name. Um, it has a Amiga DOS template. Ideal tool never did. But I guess it was meant to run on Unix. Ideal tool. And anything. Right? It's a different purpose. And what did I do? I did uh, like sensor this and file. You have to put something up there. Create, create dirt. Yeah, if you don't put create dirt, it doesn't do much. It's very boring. So you do CD and it creates basically a skeleton. So now I have my HM sensor skeleton. Very similar to ideal tool. Doing kind of the same thing. That's uh, interesting. Private. So it puts your header files all there, ready to go. And you just start building your library or device. So it's, it does some. It does some nice code. You know, nothing. Nothing insane. <laughs> Unusual kind of tool. I always wondered if we should just build a Python script to do it. <laughs> These days, like, why do you need a specialized tool, right? Really, Python would be fine, <laughs> and it, it'll run far cross-platform, and we have Python. So <laughs> we have an old Python. It's Python too. Yeah, it's still there. Perl. Use Perl. <laughs> <laughs> well, get Nils to maintain it. He seems to be excited. Perl is just a sickness. Interesting reaction. Yeah. Uh, Python is not much better. <laughs> Might be a Ruby kind of thing. <laughs> then there's code set library. That's for converting between different code sets. You have uh, all sorts of stuff. One thing I always wanted to do is do UTF-8 support in Amigo S. We started on it, but then things went south. And never got to go any further yet. We can finish it when we rewrite graphics next week. Oh, OK. That's good. Yeah. Excellent. Because <laughs> uh, I always wanted to just you know, use UTF-8 everywhere. It just makes yeah. sense. Why, why do anything else now? Uh, what else was there? Uh, auto docs and includes, yeah. So they're all uh, they're all there. Just the K, open local. Yeah. So it even puts it in the uh, correct place in your SDK. It puts it in local because it's not part of the base install. So that's nice. So if you ever want to delete it or not use it, just ignore the local directory. That's, that's, that's how we designed it, the SDK. So you can put third-party stuff in there. Away you go. So there's Monodox includes and all the usual stuff. The examples don't go into any sort of local. No, we never did uh, split examples out, so they get dumped into the same place. That's a little confusing. Yeah. Should have fixed that in the last SDK. <laughs> <coughs> That's how it goes. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, that's what I wanted.
to show you. And then uh, <coughs> it looks like Brian came hey. through. He drove all the way to FedEx and came back. <coughs> Thank you. I did. Yeah. Thank you to Brian. The, the, only, the reason he sent 13 was because that's what fit in the FedEx box. That's what I figured. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so there it is. It is glory. <laughs> Power PC version. Well, he's just been described. Oh, the okay. There's, there's a serial code right purpose. on the back. But it's yeah. <coughs> There you go. Matthew Gift. With the box. See, the box. What are the redistribution rules on this? <coughs> oh, uh, no, that's what Brian asked earlier. So we did. Yeah. Yeah. Original licensing agreement. It's okay. You just don't ignore Brian again. It says like, <laughs> you can or cannot. Cannot. <laughs> can you install well, this multiple? Name. So you write a you so you write an application. You can't no. distribute it. Once you're a key you can't per, distribute the key well, you use for, unless you change the right. license. So you'll have to I said tell somebody that they've got to go off and download this before they can use. You can see there's a, there's an agreement there. I'm sorry. What are you? What are you? Yeah, but the difference was, uh, yeah, I get that. That's just what you came for. He came all the way from Australia for that. <laughs> A lot of people complained that it was like really slow. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And this is you want to roll four? Does it have to pass? Does it have to pass? Absolutely not. Two different things. The core. You're only you're only good up to one point five. This is only because you have a nice touch. <laughs> the boxes. They will be too. Sorry. So he left the core out. But oh, this is why. You made it. Don't care anything. Don't care. You can do the registration. You can. You can uh, put this in the inside of the box and tape it. Just put it inside the box and tear it. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, it'll get lost. <laughs> That's true. It's a trash. Come on, you know you're going to install this. Come on. Come on. Be careful. Okay. It is your room. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So that, that's... Um, that's uh, what uh, I, I wanted to show off about the Hansen Core. Sorry, I don't know as much as, as Matthew would have known. It's not here. Did he say it will be available for general people to download? Yes, everyone will be able to get it for free. Is it now though, or is it two years? I don't think it's on any website because I haven't seen it yet. Okay. It's still in beta test. Well, it's this is at least Canada. What? I don't know. Release no candidate. information, sorry. Yeah, this is the first release. I mean, and there hasn't been anything else reported, so I think RC2 is it. So This is the first release. Okay. This, this be must be the first release. Yes, it is. You were there. I was there. You were witness. Yes. And is there already really something we have to put on <laughs> What's the <laughs> <there really? laughs> Yeah. Well, it didn't take long. We saw it right away. Yeah. yeah. Wait. No. Too late. They, 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 they were. He shipped the boxes before we could. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Deadlines. <laughs> this is what we call a hard deadline in the bids. But there's updated. Yeah. 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 And I can confirm that registration works. Wow. And it works with the Oddity web browser. Wow. So you need an Amysphere account first. There you go. If you have an Amysphere account. Okay. But it has been hard getting an Abby Spirit account. Has it? Yeah, there's been some. People had some soft, some passwords. Some they didn't know the difference between a small A and a big A. Oh. Well, there are different letters. <laughs> <laughs> we'll work on that. Remember the Abby Spirit is. No. What's the word? No. The phrase? Case sensitive. Case sensitive. There you go. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what any other questions I could try to answer? Sorry, I don't know about the licensing scheme or anything. It's okay. Distribution. But this is this is the official launch. It is the idea that over time, as added some classes, that uh, they'll be made freely available through this product? Yep. Okay. You betcha. Awesome. Yeah. So, it's an interesting idea to get it spread out. Yeah. 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 
It gets it spread out. Yeah, that's the whole point. One of the things in the communities, where are all the updates? I just don't know how many use pie chart catch but yeah. I gotta start something with pie chart in it. Pie eating pie games. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you. Thanks, Jay. Thank you.